At Visual Robotics, we're bringing 3D Pick and Place to blind robots. So we'd like to ask you this simple question. What if your robots could see? What if they could use vision to perform tasks like we'll show you here? In this video, we'll use our VR Quick Pick software application to drive a UR3 robot equipped with the VIM 201 3D Vision Guidance System. VR Quick Pick is simple to operate. With the touch of a single button at the top left of the screen, you load a configuration file that includes camera settings, object detection settings, and robot settings. Once you've loaded a configuration, you set the pick zone, which is to say the field of view where the objects to be picked will be found. They can be stationary or moving, as long as they are visible in the selected pick zone. Then you set the place zone, or, as in this case, you can place objects in a specific XYZ location. On the right hand of the screen, you have your start button and your stop button. At the bottom of the screen, you have extraordinary information reported real-time, including the speed of a moving object, its XYZ location, distance from the tool center position, and its dimensions. So now let's see the system put to work. As we've described, first we'll load a configuration file, bringing in camera, software, and robot settings. Then we'll set the pick zone. Touching this button enables the operator to free drive the robot to the area where picked objects will be found. Touching the button again saves the selection. We'll go through the same process for the place location, in this case dropping the picked boxes onto a conveyor. So now we just need to push start and the system goes to work. Notice that we are picking boxes off stacks. The 3D system detects the height of the top box without hesitation. When there are no more boxes to pick, it stops. Here's another example where we are picking bags of chips from a conveyor and putting them into a box, but the conveyor has no instrumentation. The system detects the speed of the moving bag in order to pick it up. You can see the camera's detection of the bag on the quick pick screen at the top right. Since the system is visually guided, you can just wheel up a cart of material to move and the system will detect its height and go to work. For the first run, you would just select the pick and place zones as before. To save time, we've already done that, so we'll just press Start. Setting up a configuration in the first place is often very simple with VR Quick Pick, but sometimes it requires additional twiddling of parameters, so you may be wondering what kinds of settings are available. On the Setup Diagnostic screen, you see the settings for Object Detection, Pick Liftoff Height, and End Effector Controls. On the Camera Configuration screen, you have a high degree of control over image capture. On the Finder's Configuration page, you adjust parameters that the Object Detection Finder will use to locate objects of interest, such as threshold settings. The Robot Configuration gives you control over the robot servoing with settings for velocity, acceleration, and other parameters. The Tracker settings enable you to configure the tool center position offset from the camera. Also, you can set any known parameters that will speed object processing, such as conveyor speed or object dimensions. These are not required, but are helpful if known. Let's look at some more pick-and-place examples. Here you see the system picking boxes, or pipe tees, off the conveyor. Since the system can detect the size of objects, wouldn't it be powerful if it could sort by size? Well, it can. We just create a place rule on the Object Placement tab. Instead of setting up a single place location, we are able to configure two different place poses, pose number one and pose number two. These include not only the location, but the rotation of the wrist as well. Let's watch the system sort by size. 
As a simple demonstration, the operator is placing random size boxes in the pick area. The system calculates their sizes and then decides whether to put them in place location 1 or place location 2. There was no need to teach the parts as other systems require. Here's an application of this sorting capability that has never been done before. Now the boxes are moving down a conveyor, and the system dynamically determines their size while they are in motion. It correctly picks them despite their motion and despite their differences in Z height, and places them on one side of the conveyor or the other based on their size. The conveyor then transports them to bins. You can easily imagine other applications where this powerful sorting takes automation to a whole new level. In this video, you've seen our Vision and Motion technology in action. Unlike other systems, it processes images real-time, even while moving, up to 50 frames per second. It tracks the velocity, acceleration, and dimensions of moving objects, and servos the robot to pick them up. You've also seen how incredibly easy it is to set up and perform pick-and-place applications using VR Quick Pick. A single configuration saves and loads everything. If needed, VR Quick Pick provides granular access to pretty much all the settings you can imagine. If you'd like to learn more, give us a call or take advantage of our online resources. Visit our website where you can subscribe to our newsletter list. Or visit our YouTube channel and subscribe so you'll be notified every time a new video is published. As always, thanks for taking time to watch this video.